Mission Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Nicole Cloutier Masters. Right now, seven tons of food, fuel, and supplies are bound for the space station. The European Space Agency's fifth and final automated transfer vehicle launched Tuesday night from French Guiana. ATV Vive, named for the father of the Big Bang Theory, George Lemaitre, is currently on a 14-day trek to the station with docking scheduled for August 12th. NASA astronauts Steve Swanson and Reed Wiseman were back at work with more spacesuit maintenance. The duo performed water leak inspections and a scrubbing of the suit cooling loops. They also measured conductivity of water samples taken from the loops to ensure they meet operational specifications. Swanson then collected tools in preparation for the upcoming Russian and U.S. spacewalks. Two U.S. spacewalks are planned for the end of August for relocation, replacement, and reconfiguration tasks. Last week, the crew set a record for how much time they dedicated to science investigations. Typically, ISS crews are scheduled for around 40 hours of research per week, but they doubled that last week when the crew spent more than 83 hours on various experiments, from Skin B, which studies the aging of skin, to the Four Shoes experiment, which helps optimize exercise sessions in microgravity. To learn more about how ISS research benefits life on Earth, visit nasa.gov slash station benefits. And we have a great question from a YouTube viewer this week. How long can an astronaut be outside the station? Typically, an astronaut can remain in a U.S. spacesuit outside the station for about seven hours. But if required, a spacewalking astronaut could remain outside much longer if a task or a contingency required them to. The longest U.S. EVA was eight hours and 56 minutes, performed outside the ISS by Susan Helms and James Voss on March 11, 2001, during a space shuttle assembly mission. Make sure to keep sending your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.